Hey guys, uh, today I have this enemy here, and I have the damage turned off on him currently because he's got a problem. Uh, and when we play, uh, he tries to jump on my character. Uh, the claw is the collision, so the damage would be in the claw, and as you see, it kind of like goes behind my character. So as I run away, he tries to like jump on my character. So let's try and fix this make it better what we're gonna do is we need to make a notification here in the animation letting him know that when he's in air he needs to reposition himself and we're gonna call this uh, from the notification by using an interface so basically we go uh, if you have an interface great you can use that if not, just go to Blueprint here and Blueprint Interface. I'm just going to go with New Interface because I have my own. This is just for testing or showing you guys. Uh, you could call it like Attack Positioning. And we need like two inputs. They're both going to be floats. One's going to be the distance. And the next one's going to be speed and then just compile and save. Uh, then we go to the enemy that we want to reposition when he attacks and we go up to class settings and we go here implemented interfaces and we just make sure that our interface is added. Uh, if you have your own it might be inherited into it or it might be uh, but you should see it here attack positioning once it's added uh, you just double click on here to get the interface. So this is our interface. Um, then we get a reference to self. Now we need three things from this reference. We need the distance two. We need the actor location. And we need the actor forward vector. So from the distance to, we also need the character that we're trying to attack. To, we we want to know how far away we are from that character. Um, to do this, uh, hopefully you have a vision system or a sound system or, or a touch uh, notification of like where your character is and how you can get a hold of him. If not, I might go into details on that in another video. Uh, for now, I just have it set up like this to get my target player. You won't have this. You you might have some other setup to to find your targeted player, but you you just drag him in here. Uh, for mine, it's just done from the enemy's vision so if the enemy's eyes come in contact with the player it, it picks him up as a, a target so from here uh, we're gonna get this and we're gonna subtract it and we're gonna subtract from the distance here now this will tell the AI if he needs to jump backwards or forwards based on the distance to the player if he's too close or too far uh, with this uh, let's actually get the timeline going we need a timeline here so you just add a timeline and we also get the timeline node from here make sure that the names match if you're using multiple timelines and just set length and we set this to the speed how fast we want this new timeline to go and we're gonna play it from the start you don't want to play it halfway in uh, we also click and open up this timeline uh, we set the length to the default one 
most animations play short, so we'll keep it short. And we just right click and add a keyframe. We're gonna zero this out to all zeros. And we're gonna do the same at one. We're gonna click up here and just put one and one. Uh, this is our curve. You can customize your own for how quick or how slow you want your AI to snap into position. For now, we're just gonna keep it basic and simple. Uh, so with this, we're gonna multiply by this. Now the reason we multiply by this is if it's zero, if it just started, we don't want him to snap into position. We want him to have like a smooth movement. So as the time goes up, so does the movement. And he'll just smoothly, gradu gradually get into position instead of a snap. Uh, from here, we multiply this. Uh, we right click here and set to a double precision float. And we just connect that as well. And then we take his original position and we add it to this new position. And then we take from self and we set actor location. And we plug it into the update and we plug in the new location. And that's it, that's, that's all it is. That's all the code you need. Uh, but we still have to set up the notifications. So to do that, we need to make a notification here. Uh, you, to do that, you right click, go to bl blueprint class, uh, all classes, and you just type in uh, notify, and you'll see this anim notify here. You just select that, and then you can rename it to anything. So now that we made the notify, uh, we're going to open it up and we're going to override the name, to name it what you want. And we're going to also override the receive notify. And with this receive notify, we're going to take from the mesh and just get the owner. This is the target is actor component. And we're going to call our interface. So uh, for me, it was new interface. So right here, I have a attack positioning or attack position. And we just plug that in. Now for the speed, uh, let's see how fast we want it to play. So about 20.27, he starts going in the air and almost, almost at 0.8, he's leaving the air. So that's about a half a second. So we're gonna, we're gonna just put in 0.5. And for the distance, uh, I found for my character, 550 was the best. Your speed and distance will be, be totally different. Uh, it won't match this unless you got lucky. But we also need to add the notification in right to the point where he jumps. So let's just add the notify and find the one you named and add. Save everything, compile everything, and let's give it a test and see what happens. So now as you see, he, he doesn't jump on me. He's jumping back actually. And if I go this way, away from him, he's trying to chase me now. He's, he's jumping forward still, but he, he also jumps backwards. 
And to make sure that this is working good and you can control it from one variable, uh, let's try like 900. His attack won't reach me, but you can see that it's working. As you see, he jumps way back. So you can control the distance just from that one variable. All right, guys, so I, th I think it's fixed now. And, well, I'll, I'll fix it. But I hope you learned something and uh, enjoyed the video. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, have a good day.